Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of Vodnet Universe. You're watching Vodnet Sadek again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna watch an ace game from my amigo Kirito uh, and his uh, <laughs> crazy tank, which is the AC4 Sentinel. Um, as I remember correctly, I got this tank from one of the events, and to be honest, it was a really, really fun tank to play. And before before I got the Cromwell B, B Cromwell Berlin, this tank was uh, was my favorite pre premium at tier six, at least premium uh, favorite premium mat, I would say, because uh, this tank has pretty good frontal armor if you use uh, your full gun depression. It has nice mobility, it has nice uh, turret armor, nice gun depression, and. Uh, Pretty good DPM, to be honest. It's maybe it's not as good as uh, I would say as Cromwell, but it's still a decent tank. And uh, if you like playing medium tanks, and if you like um, tanks with uh, that that can go hold down against other mediums, uh, then this tank is for you, and uh, I guess you will enjoy it. And also, you can get it from crates and. Uh, that means uh, you can get it even if you are a free-to-play player. So that means it's a decent tank which uh, will bring you some credits and uh, it's fun to play. It's not a bad tank, to be, to be, just to make it clear. Uh, so my amigo is gonna do... I kind of hate this map because uh, it's kind of... Uh, you always play the same way in, <laughs> on this in this on this map, but uh, Kirito is going uh, to flank around. He already uh, took out uh, the uh, I think it was the Sherman Jumbo, if I if I'm correct. But uh, yeah, so he's uh, just going around. He's a top tier, so uh, he's in a good good situation here. He's gonna clear uh, this uh, poor old T25, and now. There is uh, SU-100Y left, and SU-100Y is the one of the tanks you don't want to face, especially when you're on lo lower than 300 hit points, because even HE Splash can uh, just tear you apart in no time. But uh, SU-100 missed uh, his shot, and he's on the long reload, that means uh, my amigo can out-DPM him right now. and. Uh, now is the sticky situation because uh, it's a 5 against 2, now it's 4 against 2, now it's 3 against 2. And uh, yeah, he has to be very, very careful because uh, even this T1 Heavy can take him down in 2 shots. And that was a lucky shot that this went in because the only uh, thing he could pan was this uh, bottom uh, plate, I would say the. the kind of a bar, steel bar in the front of the T1 Heavy because after the last buff T1 Heavy is really really well armored and uh, this tank can really do its job and can stand against tier 6 as you can see even though it's a tier 5 tank uh, so it's a let's say tech 3 seal clubber sweat dream <laughs> to play this tank and I see it really often uh, in uh, games right now and now here comes the uh, one tank that uh, can really out DPM my amigo here and it's really accurate but the KV-1S saved the day and they won the game. Uh, so let's check the results. So 4 kills, 2325 damage, 60,000 credits as you can see, Ace Tanker, Top Gun, High Caliber, all the goodies and 1000 and 35 base XP which is also great for a tier 6 game and that's basically all for this episode boys and girls hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching I only remind you that I'm still on my 500 subs quest so if you want to help me out hit that subscribe button you can also join my discord the link is in the description below take care bye bye and catch you all on the battlefield